Yo guys, what's going on? It's Frost GFX here, and today guys, I have a really um, cool tutorial for you guys on how to link partner uh, backgrounds to, you know, other channels and stuff like that, um, you know, uh, just as a, as a example, um, it's the background I recently did, and as you can see, the backgrounds link, you know, to my channel and stuff like that. So this is a tutorial on how to do that. Um, all right. Now, um, let's say this is your background. You know, it's all done. Obviously, this isn't and fatal. Today's the day you're gonna get partner, dude. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is basically the background, and let's say this is the finished product. So this is for GFX designers. If you have the proper partner template, which I'll leave this one in the description to download, um, you're going to drag your partner branding banner. It's just a partner banner. You're going to want to gra drag this all the way to the top. All the way. You're going to make sure this eye isn't uh, clicked so it's like behind it because if it's um, visible, then it's going to cover up everything and mess everything up. So what you want to do is make sure it's not visible. You want to hit control on your keyboard and click the thumbnail once you click the thumbnail you're gonna see this uh... some people like to call it marching ants i don't know why but it's basically just a marquee tool um, selected that um, then after that what you want to do is you want to co come up here to edit and then you want to go down to copy merged and once you do that it's basically going to copy everything above this All right. Once, what you want to do now is you want to go to File, New, okay, and you want to click OK, and it's going to come across as this, okay, it's just going to be blank. You're going to want to click up here again on File, and no, what am I saying? Edit, <laughs> Paste. All right, now this is the background. This is the banner that you'll see on top that is linked, okay? Um, now I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it my way. Um, go to save for web and devices. And, you know, just, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And save that as, you know, tutorial one. I don't know. Um, now, the banner is saved. Now you can link it. Um, this is where a lot of partners get stuck on uh, linking their stuff. They get all the stuff from the graphics designer and then they have to ask somebody you know how to do it and I figured it'd just be easier to do the tutorial. So what I what website I use to do this is called image-maps.com okay it's really simple it's really easy and it's really friendly so um, you just want to go here click on choose file by the way this uh, website link will be in the description also you just want to click on uh, choose file and you know find the banner that you just made tutorial one okay once it's selected you'll see the name right here right there right there and you want to click down here and click start mapping your image and it's going to take about 10 seconds um, but this is the image that um, you just uploaded and you click right here continue the next step All right this is where we actually map the image and you know it's real simple um you come over here and you got a custom shape and a rectangle I always use a rectangle because it's really simple and really easy to do um so I'm gonna click on rectangle and I'm kinda just gonna you, you see how it is I'm just gonna kinda put a box over you know the YouTube one okay alright so now you type in your link. Um, you gotta make sure it's all proper too. HTTP colon slash slash uh, www.youtube.com. I'm just gonna put my YouTube in, the Frosty Hero, and so we're set. Now what you wanna do before you uh, make sure it's correct, you just wanna click test link, and it'll take you to the site that you typed in. So yeah, that's right. All right. Um, I'm going to end that right now because that's going to be annoying. Okay. Um, once that's done, you want to click save. Um, 
I don't have a Facebook or a Twitter link, so I'm not really sure uh, what you would do. But let's just say you wanted to do these both. Um, you'd go up here, do the same exact thing, highlight over uh, Twitter, which I can't really do because I put it too far to the right. But um, you type in like Twitter, Twitter dot com, and it's not really gonna work right. You see. It's not gonna work right. You have to have HTTP. So I'm gonna do HTTP colon slash slash www dot. <clears throat> Once you have that, it'll go to twitter.com and everything will work fine. So um, save that, and then for the last one, we'll do facebook.com and we'll just highlight this like so. And we'll type in www.facebook.com. All right. Now that is done, and you guys can see my Facebook, which isn't cool. But anyway, <laughs> uh, you click save again, and now you got three boxes, which are the three links. One's here. See, it's going to www.twitter.com. Um, Facebook.com and the Frosty Hero YouTube. Okay, so once you have all your um, where you want it to go linked highlighted with a box around it, you can click to do the next step. And what you guys want to do is you want to click Get Your Code. Okay, and this screen is gonna pop up. You're gonna be like, What the heck? I just did all that work and now there's nothing here. So what you want to do is go up here. Uh, to HTML, HTML code, what a fail, but you want to go to HTML code and you want to click on that and here it is. Now if you're a partner, you have a little place that you know of that says like HTML code or whatever, I'm not really sure what it says, but this right here is what you put in that box and basically the banner you have up, it'll link everything into it. Um, it's magic. Okay, yeah, it's magic. Um, but yeah, that's what that does. Um, this code, you just drag right in or whatever, and um, that's that. You know, if you want to save this, you know, um, in a notepad or something, you know, and just uh, notepad, and you know. Just copy and paste it in there and like save it or whatever. Uh, you can do that. Um, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that this goes in the uh, box that says code. I'm not really sure what it says, like I said, because I'm not partnered. But um, yeah, this is how you get the code. Um, and that's basically it, guys. It's really not that complicated. I really hope this tutorial did help you. But before you leave, I do have something else to ask you. Um, I just made this new channel called True Art Studios. It's a really cool uh, new channel that I made with a friend, uh, Chaos the Monster, uh, the Monster Designs. Make sure you go check out his channel. It's right there, and he's really good at graphics as well, and a uh, really cool guy. So make sure you go check him out. But make sure you come check this channel out. It's for graphics and editing. Any kind of art will be uploaded here. It's going to be a really big channel. We got a lot of support from some guys. So make sure you come check out this channel. It's really cool. And uh, that's been all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial once again. And peace out.